Sharks. My name is Pat McCarthy, and I'm the founder of Liquid Money. I'm seeking $100,000 in exchange for 5% of my company. We all know that sharks have an amazing sense of smell. In fact, just one drop of blood in a thousand gallons of water can send them into an uncontrollable frenzy. Well, humans also can get excited by smell. And there's one scent in particular that opens our gills and gets us circling. The smell of money, baby. The smell of money. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> amen. Good. Amen. <laughs> preach, brother. Preach. <laughs> so I got to thinking, if such a fragrance can hold so much power, then why hasn't anyone bottled it? Well, I have. Introducing money, the fragrance of success, low to dough, the sweet smell of greenbacks. <laughs> Available in two forms, his money and her money. <laughs> My fragrance is based on three core elements, cotton, silk, and linen. These are the same three ingredients you find in cold, hard cash. Folks, we know money can't buy happiness, but who cares when it can smell like a million bucks? Now, my models are going to bring you some money. Now, how's that for a change of pace? Love this pitch. Thank Love you. It. You know, this is the fragrance of success. Actually, it smells pretty good. Do you own that name? Is it trademarked? I do. And I was really surprised, <laughs> but I got it. In what category? Mark was not impressed with that thing. <laughs> yeah, Mark was not, Mark? Not, uh, not happy with that. I, You know, I, I, I am not a cologne person. I've never been a cologne person. Um... I just, it just never, I, it's, it's never, it's never uh, been a thing for me. But I'll tell you what has been a thing. Comments, your comments down below. I'll get to one of, feature featuring one of your comments at the end of this video after we check out Pat's website and uh, social media and all that and see what's going on now. But I, you know, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't hate the pitch. I thought the the pulling out of the money thing and like. Smith sniffing it, uh, it was a maybe a bit over the top, uh, maybe a bit hokey. But other than that, I, I, you know, he's going for a very particular, uh, you know, niche and drive of of people, right? Like I, you always say, like here, like follow the money. Well, in following the money, uh, he he's he's he's. He's making it very apparent that this is for people who really um, want to live in a uh, money-centric kind of environment, if you will. More fragrances. Really? Pat, have you sold this product already? I have. What are your sales annually? Well, annual sales are 52,000 year to date. What retailers carry it yeah. now? So in the retail space, I have, which is one of my challenges right now, Kevin. Oh, you're not getting into retail, Pat. I'm not. I'm not I, I've got... Right, I've got it in very limited retail. Isn't the truth about this yeah. business that one of the highest margin businesses on earth, but large box retailers where 90% of this is sold would never give you any space because they protect it like drug dealers protect their no, turf. No, they will give them the space, but they'll give them the space for $1.5 million exactly. because the juice only costs a dollar to make and $50 to sell. That's my point. He's never going to get any distribution. But I am talking to CVS right now. They are very interested. How much have you invested in this company? Is CVS really where you want to distribute your product? Is your target market really going to CVS to buy their cologne? Probably not. That's just, you know, I think that's avatar building 101. If you want to get better at building your avatar, go over to superjoeparo.com slash avatar and get my free 64 question workbook. It's a PDF guide and it will walk you through targeting your perfect avatar, your perfect ideal customer there. So I've put about $50,000 into this product. I don't think it's very much. How'd you, no. how'd you come up with this? So I went to an ATM. The bills were so new that they actually stuck together. They were there was a unique fragrance to them. I didn't realize money really had its own unique it smell. Does. They don't have enough of it. That's the problem. <laughs> then I read this study uh, about or he, Japan. Or he's not focused on uh, just the money <laughs> aspect of it. I think it's it's important that we as super entrepreneurs to focus not just on the money but also on the passion and the people and uh, those. 
those uh, those things, those people, and those passions that we have, uh, while adjusting the passion to fit where the money is going to come from, uh, is is the most important. Where they actually pump that fragrance through the vents really? to increase worker productivity. They do it here too. It's called ambient scenting. It's actually about a hundred million dollar a year market and growing. Well, you've done research on that market. That sounds like a far oh, different and yeah. more enticing market than selling perfume. Mm. Have you looked at piping in the scent of your money in, in an ambient environment? I, I haven't, but I have been approached by banks to use it as a gift. When you open an account with the bank, they actually will give, give you your you, money back. We'll give you money back. <laughs> That's exactly right. Pat, that's all good, but there's a little bit of a problem here. You've got to get huge distribution. You've got to buy your way in. This is what Damon was talking about. You need millions of dollars. So, so I put out one press release on this product. This product exploded worldwide. It's in Poland, Croatia, 50, China. 50,000 in sales. 50,000 in sales is not an explosion. It is in Croatia. It's an implosion. But it's a very unique product, right? You buy this product because of the name, and you come back because of the fragrance. This right, business right. is solely on advertising, and $100,000 will only buy you one page in one of the books that the big guys are in. Pat, how much money do you... Yeah, so that that is... Um, look, it, it's like food, right? It, it's a very competitive market to get any kind of market space. Um, and if, I mean, what, I mean, I, okay. He trademarked the word money, which mind blowing, uh, that you could trademark that, but, um, is it, is it really enough? Uh, they could just come like, I mean, Robert De Niro could come out with his own fragrance. It's called D De Niro's and has the same money sp smell to it. Uh, or, or somebody at least license his likeness and call it money uh, or De, De Niro's, I, I guess. I, I don't know. I just think that it's, it's a very difficult play and, and $50,000, uh, to get started. I mean, that's a lot of money for some, for some fragrances. If you ask me to, I mean, it probably in the grand scheme, I mean, I've been to a perfume factory in Italy, uh, or manuf how whatever you call it plant I, I don't know what you call it but I've been there uh, and it fifty thousand dollars does not seem like it would go very far with the amount of stuff that they have going on there I have left to put in this business frankly I don't I really don't want to put any more money into so this it. is your big play here you got to walk Absolutely. out of the tank with the cash in your pocket correct this is it so why would you this offer us five percent yeah. for a hundred thousand dollars that means you are saying the value of your company is two million dollars. Well, I'm going to go back to my point. You're talking about a 32 billion market. Seven out of 10 are for gifts. The Pat, you bro you've broken the cardinal rule for yeah. me. When someone starts off with the market is billions, and if I only get a small percentage, I'll be okay. That's always a red right. flag. Right. Because you don't have enough confidence in your product to dive all in. Now, that's not fair, Mark. That's no, that is fair. And th the thing about that is because if, if it's just your money that you're putting in, uh, and you're like, oh, I carve out like, you know, a small percentage of, of everything. It'll be fine. Everything will be cool. That's awesome. Great. D you know, job well done. But when you start talking about taking other people's money, that's where it really, you gotta, you need more than like, oh, well, if we just get like 2% of the, uh, what, half a percent of the market will be, you know, we're going to be doing awesome. It, it, that's not going to cut it, especially when you're coming in and asking for, uh, 100,000 for 5%, they will likely never get their money back out of this if they, they did that deal. It's not fair. I don't care. If you want my money, you want a $2 million right. valuation, right. and if you don't believe enough to sell money, then you're a wantrepreneur, not an entrepreneur, and for that reason, I'm out. There's that There's that term, wantrepreneur, or we got super uh, super entrepreneur, but uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't blame Mark, and I, and I think that saying that that's not fair, again, is this is this is you know the hundred thousand dollars is not ten thousand dollars it's not a thousand dollars it's it's a serious uh ask and that five percent uh is just not gonna get it there I, i'll be really surprised if if pat walks out with the deal and uh speaking to you pat if pat if you want to join me here for an interview on the show uh drop a drop a comment down below and we'll make it happen love to hear about your experience now, you said money can't buy you happiness. I've been rich and I've been poor. Right. Rich is better. I agree. By the way, is this real money? That is real money. Why are you going to jail for chopping up wow. money, Pat? It's not right. I mean, that's actual shredded U.S. currency. Where'd you get it from? I buy that from the Department of Treasury. Oh, that's cool. Is there a yeah, business of taping this back together again? <laughs> no, <there isn't. laughs> no, no, no. No, that would be illegal. Well, look, Pat, the only thing of value I see is that you, you got the name money in the fragrance category. Good for you. Everything else is insane. I love money. 
I'm emotionally involved with it, and it loves me too. So it really breaks my heart to have to say this to you, but I'm not. That's tough. I think, I think, you know, I think it was known that like Kevin was probably the big play because of everybody knows how uh, attached he is to his money and, and how much he loves it. So yeah, that that's, that's a big blow there. I know that 75% of all fragrances are sold duty free and the rest you need backing. I like that idea of the license. So I'll give you the hundred thousand dollars for eighty percent. Whoa! And I'll go license the name, and we'll make a lot of real money. I think eighty percent is, is quite high. Just remember, a hundred percent of nothing is still nothing. Twenty percent of something growing and big. He's offering to put himself to work for you and pay you to do it. That yeah. never happens. It, it's a it's a big play. If it's the only play that you have on the table, uh, given that he he you know put those cards out, said, "Hey, I need to walk out of here with a deal today. I can't afford to not have this deal to make all of this this work." Um, yeah, I you know it's is if it's the only deal he's got, it might be uh, the the kind of deal that he wants to to consider. I. So I, I mean, my thing is, is if he, if year to date sales at fifty thousand dollars, I don't know when this was recorded, or, or you know, if the, is that all the sales that he's had to date? Um, again, you go back to like, oh, we, we might get into CVS. I don't know that that's really the where your target market's going to hang out uh, and be. I think online direct to consumer probably is that, and we'll check out his website at the end. But I. I mean, maybe if you could push him down to like sixty or seventy percent, but I, I just don't think that Damon's going to because it's 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 just a it's just a mar it's really just a marketing play. I must say, I think your packaging is great, Thank you. perfect. Yeah. Okay, but that doesn't smell like money to me. You know what? I get five hundred dollars a week out of that cash machine because they always give it to me new fifty. Right. So I right. purposely get it. Yes. I always smell the money before I put it in my right. wallet, so I really know what money smells like. It's subtle. This is not subtle. Even though you look like Robert Redford, <laughs> I'm out. Uh. Do you have an offer on the table? 80% of the company. Yes. The 80% of what's really just a product, should I say. I mean, I really would like to have control of this company. Pat, it disturbs me a little bit that we had to show you the obvious path, which was licensing. I don't think this is a perfume product. I think this is a licensing product. I don't smell the money. I smell failure with the strategy you have today. And for that, I'm out. Just like money, when there's not enough buyers, my money becomes more valuable. And just like real money, I right. have a depreciating asset right now. Right. So unless you give me an answer right now, it's going up to 85%. 80%. So again, I think that this market has tremendous potential. 80% is too much. I can't do 80 percent. Then I'm out. I think I think Mark was on something there with the fragrance pumping into the. There goes the money. <laughs> <laughs> I have no regrets turning down Damon's offer. The 80 percent was just out of line. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know that it I don't know that it was. Um, let's check out his website. And see, maybe maybe it's uh it's all going going moneyly. I don't. I don't know. I'll be here all week, folks. Uh, let's see. I love this pitch. Love it. Well, he's still rocking the Shark Tank, which, you know, ding, ding, all for, for having a subtle there. I, I'd like to see faces. And we got to wait till you get to the bottom. Um, this is the most watched episode, huh? Uh, it, that very well may be, may be the case. I mean, Core Buddy's huge, money. I, I mean, I remember it. I just don't, I couldn't remember if he got, the, you know, a deal or not. Um, so let's see. Her money is is first at fifty two fifty. Her money make it rain. I mean, to me, the problem with selling online direct is is I can't smell it. Like I don't know. I and and I'm wondering if they've changed their officially highly sought uh, the official highly sought after make it rain twenty twenty two yearly edition. I wonder if they've made the the scent uh, lighter than. 
uh, than it was, but ships in eight to ten weeks. Wow, I, you really gotta you gotta wait for for that. Um, let's see pat, about Pat and oh, he's got the New York USA. There you go. I, I kind of called it. <laughs> uh, media. So he was on CNBC. So I let's let's see if um his how social media is doing. So social media is. 4,300 people. Um, last time he posted was in 2019 on Facebook. Probably wasn't getting much engagement. The, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's overly over the top. But, I mean, there's some engagement here, so there's something. But I bet you it's going to be on Instagram. Let's go to Twitter. 2,000 followers. Last time he posted was 2017, so hasn't done much with the Twitters, Instagram, 36,000. There it is. I should just go straight to Instagram. Uh, so, you know, um, I mean, money, uh, money at the arch. Uh, cool. I, I guess, uh, looks like, I mean, look, you put faces, they're doing as well. If, if not, maybe a little bit better. When's the last time he posted 12 weeks ago. So, all right. So he was posting, Google Cloud Platform. Thanks to Google Media and Entertainment Team for making money part of their sales kickoff. Make it rain in 2020. Oh man, did we? Oh dear God, did uh, we were not prepared. We were not prepared for then. Um, you know, I so I, I feel like there's a lot more that could be done here on the social media front. Uh, more more in line with the the asset, which is the you know the the money logo and the money uh branding i guess but but yeah so there's definitely some untapped potential there uh, again uh pat i'd love to have you come on the show and talk about your shark tank experience also the feature comment for this episode is from sloss pop or slow spop i'm not sure how to say it but 2020 robert you can't do this wrong and then i <laughs> literally five seconds later robert does it wrong and he absolutely did that was the with the the slat the salad sling if you haven't checked that out uh maybe i'll link that over here uh anyway i appreciate you and i hope you have an amazing day i'll see you in one of the next videos over here take care